62 kids like me enter a CMN hospital every minute. My name is Sean Gorey. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I want to change kids' health in university hospitals, Rainbow Babies and Children's, because I was treated there as a kid, and this is my way of giving back. Kids can't wait. To change kids' health means to fundraise by playing video games or tabletop games for these kids that are like not having the best time of their lives right now. They're, you know, they're having to fight scary diseases, scary illnesses, some of them more rare than others. And we just do everything we can to help fundraise. What's up, Extra Life? I'm so, so inspired to hear about all you're doing to help sick and injured kids treated in your local community. And the fact that you guys are playing games to help these kids is, uh, it's amazing on many levels. It's fun, but it's also making a, such a huge impact. So congrats on the millions of dollars raised today and good luck with the rest of game day. And break a leg. Do you say break a leg when you're playing games? Probably not. That's more of an after thing. Okay, just have fun. My name is Eric Sears, I live in Ottawa, and I'm treated at Chia for type 1 diabetes. My favorite part of my children's hospital is the doctors, nurses, and educators. When I show up to my checkups, I get high fives and hugs, and they're so supportive. They're just awesome. Did you know that 62 kids like me enter a CMN hospital every minute? That's a lot of kids that need help. Join Extra Life to help kids like me. My name is Tafai, and I'm from the east coast of Canada, and I want to change kids' health at the IWK Children's Hospital, because as a father myself, I know they're always going to be there for me if and when I need them. kids like me enter a CMN hospital every year. For me, I entered my children's hospital when I was nine years old for my miracle story. Happy to report that my health is on the up and it's all because of gamers like you. My name is Tara, I stream on Twitch, and I did Extra Life last year, and I raised $5,000 for uh, Children's Hospital of Omaha. I wanted to raise it for people that couldn't afford to go there, because I know not everybody can afford to go to a hospital, especially if something uh, comes up, like, randomly. Do it! Do it now! Do it! Come on! Do it! Do it! Do it now! Do it! Come on! Do it!
So my why to help kids' health at KU Pediatrics is because of my cousin Teague. She uh, has been battling cancer for a few years now and she's six and uh, I just can't wait till she becomes this amazing, incredible individual as an adult and has gone through that thanks to the support of people like you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm cleaning my jacket. Mom, go get my toy. We're just going down the block in the hallway. That's your shade, Mom. He even has like a piece of in his hair. I know. <laughs> you are so freaking silly, dude. <laughs> The Extra Life Committee, thank you so much for helping kids like me treated at the Ida Beach Health Center and TMI Hospital. Since 2008, Extra Lifers have raised millions of dollars to help kids treated at 170 children's hospitals in the U.S. and Canada. Those funds go directly to the hospital my seventh year so about seven years ago he was like oh you should you should do this the good cause play games for 24 hours and and that's pretty much like the first time I ever streamed my entire life um, and I was only doing it for extra life but also like I gone to Seattle Children's Hospital when I was in high school when I did extra life that's I chose to support Seattle Children's because of how great they are they're really good to, to the kids Last night, a lot of money for Blair Batson! My favorite part of my children's hospital is the amazing staff that work there.
Hello everyone, and welcome to the Pinball FX3 Open Challenge. It is Monday night. I'm kind of over Mondays, they're not my thing. But I hope everybody is having as fabulous of a Monday as you can. Shellschlock is, hello Shellschlock. Uh, so tonight we are going to be playing Mars, or Nars, that's a pin-up popper joke. Snoochie boochie noochies. Snoogans and salutations, Grandpa Ghost Flipper. Thank you for joining us. Um, tonight we are going to be playing Nars, fabulous Monday, yeah, no, it's, fab Mondays are not fabulous. Tonight we are going to be playing Nars and Indiana Jones The Pinball Adventure. If you're curious why I keep saying NARS instead of Mars, for those of you using Pinup Popper, if you are unaware, because not a lot of people play this table, if you launch it through the front end, it will launch Attack from Mars, unless you follow the wiki article that instructs you to rename the table file to NARS. So uh, this is the first time that I have ever played this table on stream. And it might be the second time I have ever played this table. And that is why I don't even have a back glass. But I did not realize this until we were going live. So you get the uh, you get the fancy full DMD and the pinball FX splash screen. Because that's all I could do in the 30 seconds before stream when I realized I didn't have a back glass. Wolfman had NARS. This is true. So Ghost you're telling me there's a chance. There is a chance Wolfman has NARS. Yeah! Uh, it's funny you bring that up, Ghost Flipper, because we were actually talking about that at work today. So I work uh, at a college. Many of my coworkers are much younger than me and are not as cultured. And I made a Wolfman's Got Nards jokes and everybody stared at me like I was crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. There were people on my team that knew exactly what I was talking about. But there were some 19 and 20 year olds that had me this blank stare. So we had to have an education lesson of what the Monster Squad was. Nars sounds like a virus. It does. Nars attacks. I know, Ghost Flipper, there's a whole generation that has never seen the Monster Squad and doesn't know that Wolfman's Got Nards. When you think about it, though, why wouldn't Wolfman have Nards? I mean, it is Wolfman, not She-Wolf? I don't know. What is the female werewolf? Where's my wife? She would know the answer to this question. My wife knows way more about uh, lycanthropy than uh, she should. I'm before the, that time, so there's more generations that don't know. It is the class... It is It is Halloween Goonies, Shellschlock. If Yes. If you've never seen Monster Squad, it is if the Goonies took place on Halloween. That's the best way I can describe it. Can't get into that debate. What? The Monster Squad? You do know Goonies. Goonies. Okay. Well, I'll take that. Wolf Girl? <laughs> I don't know. I keep I want to say she wolf, but that's probably has some other connotation that I'm not thinking of that I'll get yelled at for later. When my wife comes on, because she will really baked, I have a bone to pick with you, but I'm going to start the tournament first. For one, I totally forgot to get keys of Slay Away Camp 2 to give away. Let me let me start the table and then we'll get into that. Where was I? All right, we're playing Nars. Tournament, arcade, one hour. 60 minutes on the clock. Tournament is live. Narf. Narf or snarf? All right. Um, really baked. So this past weekend, uh, because of your advice, I spent like three hours getting my Moonlight uh, game streaming set up all pimped out so that I could play Black Ops. Um, Black Ops 6 on my Steam Deck, streaming away from the kids so I could hide it. And uh, got it all set up beautifully. 
And after I did all this work, set up a new VM, set up Sunshine, because the Steam Deck doesn't like just NVIDIA Game Stream, got it all working, uh, I found out that Black Ops 6 is streaming on Game Pass. So I did all that work and I could have just clicked a button. And I think Really Baked told me this and I was just too focused on what I was doing to realize that I could already stream the game. It's not for me Really Baked. I Moonlight and Game Pass streaming work about the same for me. Although I'm... I'm too young to hang with the first person shooter crowd, so I am pretty much just, you know, playing by myself in campaign at this point. Yes, I did gift you Game Pass so you could join Black Ops. Well, really, I I had multiple gift passes to Game Pass and they were only good for the United States, so I didn't want to use them as a raffle entry, and I couldn't stack them on my account. So I, I gifted them to people. It wasn't just so you could play Black Ops, but I would play if you wanted to. Most of us work too much, yes. Well, that's the thing is like, I'm happy to squat up with you guys, but I'm the guy that sits in the back with the shotgun noob cannon and you tell me where to go. I can't first person do anything anymore. I'm gonna have to set my point of view on this table. I don't know that I've ever played NARS. Take it back. This is my second time playing NARS. I don't think any of us are MLG pro gamers here. Is MLG still a thing? Like, is the Dr. Pepper classic still exist? How much of it is the state of my hands? Uh, a lot of it is the state of my hands, but more of it is just my reaction time has slowed. It's funny you bring up MLG. So, um, if you guys watched uh, Pro Halo in the early days of televised MLG, uh, growing up, my neighbor was, uh, I lived next door to Walshy and we used to play, this is how back this goes. He and I practiced Mortal Kombat 3 for the, I think it was the 1995 Blockbuster tournament. Houston, we lost you. Houston. Which he ended up to go on to take fourth and... Let me know if the table audio is too low. It sounds a little quiet to me, but my headset mixer is also different than what the stream hears. Fantastic. But yes, it is a throwback and it's funny is I've probably, since high school, I've seen Walshy maybe two, three times. Although he does always donate to our Extra Life campaign. He just does it under an alias. I'll let you guys go through the donation list and take a guess. Although I probably won't confirm or deny. But I had to go dig out some of the... When MLG was on the USA Network after Saturday Morning Slam on Saturdays, I had to go dig out one of those recordings off the Internet Archive and show my kids and then show pictures of when we were growing up because they didn't believe me. And they were impressed for all of 10 seconds. And they're like, does this mean you're good at video games? I'm like, no, I'm terrible at pretty much everything that was a sweet what what do you call that laser form ramp hope you guys came for a ramble because that's all hey the wife you're here so I, we were rambling about many things 
and uh, we started started talking about uh, Wolfman and Wolfman's Got Nards. And I'm curious, what is the official name of a female werewolf? If anybody knows, I know it would be you. You pretty much have a degree in, uh, I don't know. Like, Camp for Three is the, what a, the, you know, condition of a werewolf. What is it? Degree in lichens? I don't know. What is lichen science? You would know that, too. But inquiring minds want to know your werewolf knowledge. Mostly me. This is the part where she gets real quiet and walks away. You really have no idea? I know for a fact you have read over... Houston, yes, over 111 books about werewolves and mythical beings in that type of urban fantasy universe and you don't know the official title of a female werewolf? Is she-wolf offensive? Can you at least answer that? Werewoman? Thank you, Shellschlock. I can accept werewoman. There's no standard. She wolf is fine. <laughs> Where the woman? What? No, a werewoman, like werewolf. I guess if you want to have a f philosophical debate about it, if you're in that scenario, does the wolf wear the woman or does the woman wear the wolf? Poor man, you get the idea. Clinical lycanthropy. Thank you, Shellshock. These are the real questions. It's a psychiatric disease. I suspected that would be the case. To make the playfield of this table, they took that picture of the actual, you know, dust storm face on Mars and then just photoshopped around it poorly. It's a form of psychosis, a combination of delusion and hallucinations that you are transforming into an animal. So what do you call the beans that can transform into other animals, not just wolves? Sounds metal. Those are usually just called wares, like where creature, here creature. Changelings, thank you. That's the word I was trying to come up with in my head.
feel like I really should be shooting in orbit right now, but it doesn't seem to want to go that way. Is that a ball out or a kickback? There's the kickback. I just had to get around the little spider robot. Mission accomplished. What's a good score on this? Um, generally, I look at whatever my wife has and go, that's probably a good score on this. I can check that after this game. But this really is the second time I've played this table. That was silly. Houston. I knew when I went for the coffee cup that I I thought I could make it before the little spider robot moved around. Tournament results. I'm not sure I've played this at all. I'm sorry to say today isn't going to be the day. Well, we got three players. I'm going to regret this, but let's go look and see what people in our friend circle have done and then we can get an idea of what a good score is. And then someone remind me to go back to the tournament. All right, so my wife has done 147 million on this table, so I'm gonna go with that's probably a decent score. My collection, main menu. I generally say my wife's good, uh, my wife's good score too. Tournaments. Fair. Tournaments. Hello, Eric. Happy Monday. Groovy. What's brewing? Thank you so much for the follow. And guess what? What's brewing? We got a raffle going right now. Uh, I haven't played the raffle video yet, but now that you're a follower, if you type exclamation point raffle in chat, you would get a ticket to win this. Exclamation point raffle to enter. All those arcade games in the 70s and 80s. So, I believe... So, I was not familiar with Cavern of Mars, but the Recharge series is from the Atari Legacy Collection, so I believe it is a remastered edition of the Cavern of Mars Atari, Atari game. And this game was donated to us as a raffle by Double Mint Ben. Uh oh. Awesome. Let me trap up so I can read this. 
Hey, remember that time your youngest ran through the house with flaming paper? Your oldest decided to repeat the experiment is now banned from existing in the same room as a candle. I just finished cleaning ash. Turns out he flushed the evidence, but didn't think I'd notice the ash all over the bathroom. I'm glad I was... I'm glad that you were here because I'm sure I would not have been happy to discover that when I got done streaming. Parenting is fun, yes. Get up there. Thank you so much for the tier one. Bringing Palette and Arcade butt drugs for 32 months. So many butt drugs. in peace but drugs we miss you not as much as i am missing these couple of shots here So tonight we have two raffles scheduled. We have the uh, Caverns of Mars, which is live right now. That is Caverns of Mars recharged from Atari. Uh, we'll have a second raffle coming up after that, which is a completely different style game. But if people are digging the Atari vibe, we have additional raffles that can be unlocked tonight by donating to Extra Life. You can do so by following the link in chat. Any donation we receive tonight will unlock an additional raffle. Maybe more than one. We are also super, super close to our goal for Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Houston, we lost you. Houston. Bye bye, ball. And no, I still have not scheduled a date for our 24-hour marathon. I was leaning toward November 15th, and then someone pointed it out to me that that is the Logan Paul-Mike Tyson fight, awesome. and I do not want to miss that. 
I really, really want to see Logan Paul get his teeth knocked in. So we are back to the drawing board. Not Logan, Jake Paul, not Logan Paul. The other Paul. The other, other Paul? I hope that ball's going somewhere good. I want him to get beat so badly he starts calling himself Wogan Paul. Could always do April 25th. It's the perfect date. So it is the perfect day. It's so perfect, in fact, that it is my father-in-law's birthday. And so I perpetually have plans on April 25th. I also do a Photoshop template every year with a different picture of my father-in-law, William Shatner, and a nice Miss Congeniality throwback. But yes, April 25th is not too hot, not too cold, and all you need is a light pact. Amazing. Surely I get a pass if I forget because I do a special Photoshop picture every year, right? Right? I get a pass for that. Mission accomplished. Combo reached. Sonic, hey Paladin, did you know I did something new that I may be the very first VTuber to do this? I did not. What did you do, Sonic? And welcome, Sonic321 Master. My balls are cold. They're turning blue. So, f so for the last stream for Spooky Month, instead of pinball, I decided to play House of the Dead 4. It was perfect for Spooky Month. Is House of the Dead 4 out on PC? Or was it emulated? Either way, can I play? I would love to play House of the Dead with people. Wow, the old Pinball FX3. Nowadays, I like playing Pinball FX a lot, so I kind of forget forgot the FX3. So this is, uh, we do a tournament and the winner gets to pick what we play next week. So this was user selected and this is my second time playing this table. 
But yes, I, I am the the old flame keeping FX3 alive for the masses, along with my partner in crime, Game Club Central, as we both do FX3 tournaments weekly on Twitch. As well as FX and VPX and other virtual pinball. But I have a special place in my heart for FX3. Yep, Pinball FX will be tomorrow night uh, I know we're playing Pinball M tomorrow night, too. We're going to play Camp Bloodbrook, and Pirate is going to be giving away some copies of Camp Bloodbrook, Blo the Camp Bloodbrook for Pinball M on Steam in advance of us playing it, but I forget the other table we're playing. It is a pretty great table. I have played a fair amount of it. I shouldn't say a lot because I think my high score is only like 30 million right now. Ben wants Bob's Burgers pinball. I know, Ben. I know. And I want to give it to you, but someone has to pick it. Ah, so we're going to play The Thing. Pirate is still alive. Yes. I was about to shout out Pirate, and then we started doing uh, math. So Pirate Pones Ninja, who is alive post his... That. Doing his charity ice cream challenge last week, Friday. Uh, he will be back this Tuesday for The Thing and Camp Bloodbrook at 8.30 p.m. Eastern? Pretty sure? I'm going to be honest, Double Moon Ben, I have not checked scores yet because this is only my second game and it's been a really long game. So we can check scores in a minute. Also, Double Moon Ben, thank you for the Atari game that we are giving away right now, which is on theme, Cavern of Mars. Mission accomplished. I kind of want to shout out Pirate again and see if we get a different clip of him eating like spicy or hot sauce with his ice cream. Nope. That was the edible underwear. I got sugar in my eye. And he got sugar in his eye. As far as other standings go, Double Min Ben, in our VPX tournament, let's see who's on top for Adam's fan. I'm going to guess it's still Higher Peanut, but I haven't checked today. Yep, Higher Peanut with the 262 million. Don't forget about the Thursday Throwdown. Where we're playing Doctor Who, but Mitchell is destroying us all. those samples and the ignition but I just can't seem to hit that ramp I'm 
And then the little robot keeps messing with me. Houston, we lost you. Houston. All right, it is gone. All right, let's do a quick check in with scores. Tournaments. Active tournaments. So we're at about the halfway point. Origins currently in first with 66 million. Uh, Game Club Central, second place, 43 million. Joe Picasso, third place with 34. Myself in fourth with 23. Wait a minute. We have two Joe Picassos? I'm going to guess that one of them is Andy. And I'm just going to say Andy's in third with 34 million. And Joe Picasso is in fifth with 11 million. And I will let Joe Picasso yell at me if that is incorrect. And Mr. Pendragon, sixth place with 6.1 million. Don't forget, we got a raffle going. Exclamation point raffle for a chance to win. should mention you must be a follower to receive a ticket. Agreed, this game definitely has a vibe of its own. I might I might take my chances in Black Ops 6 over uh over Caverns of Mars. We lost it. Skill shot. This layout is very reminiscent of another table and it's really driving me nuts trying to figure out what it is it might be one of the Star Wars tables Really? I finally make that shot and then the little probe goes away as I get it straight up the middle? Who knows? Amazing. The nose knows. I will say, I do appreciate a nice, clean ramp. 
it does just feel good. Fantastic. Awesome. One moment, Sonic. Let me trap up so I can read your question. Paladin, I have a question and I want you to be honest. If you have enough money to buy one pinball machine, would you buy either Metallica 2013 or Metallica Remastered? If those are the only choices, uh, I would buy Metallica Remastered in a heartbeat. If I could buy one of any pinball machine, it would be Rick and Morty Bloodsuckers Edition, but then we would put uh, different flipper mechs in it and different rubbers. Wow. An ancient pyramid has just appeared on Mars. Do I have Missile Command recharged on the docket for tonight? Uh, so it is an alternate that I have that I was saving for... So... I guess I'll just let the cat out of the bag and I'll let people choose. So for potential raffles tonight, my next one is I was going to do Gotham Knights was going to be the second raffle. Then if we got an extra life donation, I could do either Missile Command uh, recharged or Berserk recharged. But if people would rather I stick with the Atari theme, we could save Gotham Knights as our... We could save Gotham Knights as our... Uh, Alternative raffle if we receive an extra life donation. different versions of Missile Command Recharge. One of them is delisted on Steam. Hmm. You know, I wondered about that because I feel like I got Missile Command Recharged on Epic when it was one of the Epic free games. And the trailer for the Steam version, the graphics look much better than the one that I have. And this is how you waste both of your kickbacks. Hollywood Polo. Mission accomplished. Mr. Pendragon had steak. I had tacos. And they were excellent tacos. Really? You're going to make me hit the post that I always hit on accident? But now that it's lit, is impossible. But Hollywood Polo, I hope your evening is well. I will read what you had for dinner in a moment. I just need to trap the ball so I can read. This one's a squirrely one. Uh, Hollywood wheat you ha or Hollywood had wheat bread toasted with black forest ham, pepper jack cheese, all melted together. You melted the ham? What temperature do you have to? Is that a broil? Like how do you melt ham? I need liquid ham. How do I do this? I want ham now. I made two and a half pounds of bacon, amateur, and hot dogs. Fair. 
Everybody knows you need a solid five pounds of bacon to be full. And if you're Eric Flynn, you stack that five pounds between pieces of paper towel and you cook it in the microwave. Which I did not believe would work, but it totally does. You can even get it crispy with enough patience. Just curious if Eric has any clips. You might find Eric streaming Day Z upon occasion. Nope. I think he's on to me and he's cleaned up all of his clips. The New Day Z expansion was pretty fun. So I have not played the standalone. Well, it's not true. I bought it and I played it for all of five minutes and then I went back to the Arma mod. So when Day Z was just a mod for Arma 2, there was a group of us that played it religiously. Like we're talking hours and hours every day. And then we kind of beat the game. And when I say we beat the game, uh, what's the castle that's up north? Devil's Castle? It's Devil's Peak? Something like that. Um, we actually landed a stolen helicopter on top of Devil's Castle and then stormed that thing and cleared it out of zombies. And at that point, there wasn't a whole lot left to do with the game. We had a private tour bus um, and we had it all stashed up by the airfield in a hidden base camp. And that was a hell of a lot of fun because in DayZ, I don't know about the standalone, in the original DayZ mod, like if you died, you lost all your stuff. Like it was just there wherever your body was and you spawned in a random location naked literally naked and had to start all over let me catch up on chat a second It's spam pretty gross unless you slow cook it in, ta uh, in town with butter and onions. The standalone was originally so bad that I've heard it's gotten better and I know Eric is still playing it. But I don't know. I feel like I just can't go back and relive the magic of when it was new. I was a pretty, pretty terrible person in Daisy too. There was a night that there was a group of us, and so in Daisy, that was always the, more or less, you you got stuff by finding stuff or just randomly killing other players and stealing their stuff. And there was a guy that uh, we ran into and we came up on him and we should have shot him, but he was like, friendly, friendly, friendly. So we didn't shoot him. Uh, he had a really cool sniper rifle. We hung out with him all night. Uh, we took him back to base camp, drove him all over the map in our bus. And then when it was time to log off, uh, I shot him in the back and took his guns. And I have a little bit of regret over that, but that was the type of Daisy player I was.
there was another night that I was playing with Eric specifically, and in DayZ there's the power plant where you could put a barricade in and you could go up in the cooling tower of the old power plant and you could snipe. And there was a guy that was just shooting people for fun and he had himself barricaded in so you couldn't get up there. So Eric went to... He, he went to the base of the door and then disconnected from the server, joined another server, walked inside the power plant past where the bar barrier would be, and then joined back to the server we were playing on so that it spawned him past this guy's defenses and then shot him in the back. I should have a much higher score for how I'm doing or for how long I kept that ball alive. Marty and Origins are duking it out for first. I can believe that. to see if my wife got a game in. She was going to try and play tonight, but then the child lit the bathroom on fire, so we'll see. That was just rude. That spaceship flying in front of where I needed to shoot, not the child lighting the bathroom on fire, although that was rude too. Uncle Marty is going to have a stern talking to him. We'll see how that goes. Uh, right now, they really want Uncle Marty to show them Fright Night 2. Do not be alarmed. That was just our 10-minute alarm, letting everybody know that there are 10 minutes remaining in the following tournament. So please be mindful of the time. Keep an eye on your score and the number of balls you currently possess. You must be through your game and back to the tournament menu in order for your score to post. I will do my best to keep people abreast of the time. But I'm trying to play too. Two balls. Oh, 
And I have 13 seconds to hit this stupid post. So glad I hit that post just so I could drain. Oh, I don't know how long I was playing. Hey, hey, look! Look at all these balls. Balls, balls, balls. Copy. All right then. I can't believe that clip still exists, but I love that it's there because that was from like my second or third stream ever. Had the terrible overlay with the white logo for Helen DeVos. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Come on. Do it. I'm Cookie Masterson, and thanks for watching Paladin no Doesn't Know Pinball. A second time. I definitely do not know Pinball, especially Mars. Sorry, NARS. I'm definitely losing it. That's what we need. The Dragon Zord on Mars. Hey guys! Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Well, see you later. Random wrestling or random wrestling question for our Canadian brethren. So with or with, I did get one game. In. Well, hey, one game's still better than nothing. Uh, so for those of us in Canada, or those of you in Canada, because I'm in Michigan, so I'm only an honorary Canadian, and only when it's snowing. Um, so. With Raw, with Monday Night Raw moving to Netflix, what do you guys watch it on? Is it gonna be on? Is it what's is TNS the uh, TSN the Sports Network or where are you guys gonna watch Raw? I'm curious. Yes, really baked. So in the states, and I don't know. That's why I'm curious how it works in Canada is in the states raw is moving to netflix on january 6th i don't know i how many people have gotten rid of cable but have netflix and they still i mean smackdown is still gonna i i don't know what network smackdown ended up on i don't think it's on fox anymore but smackdown's still gonna be around nxt is still gonna be on cw so i mean they're covering all of their they're co they're covering everything It's gonna be great they can show boobs now i but can they because i assume it's gonna be a live broadcast on you know cable networks or 
network networks otherwhere otherwise in the world that's why i'm curious what's happening in canada also in canada can you still get the wwe network because in the u.s they sold everything to peacock and they took away our access to the wwe network for a while i was using a vpn to the uk to watch it there because i used to like just turning on the uh the WWE Network is background noise. Amazing. Just to, you know, whatever was on. I want to see Wrestler Peen. Well, uh, I, you're in luck, Astro, is I'm pretty sure I could send you various clips. My favorite is still, there's a match with the Road Warriors and Ric Flair. And I forget who it was that gets body slammed and uh, his male member falls right out of his shorts. And Ric Flair just pushes it back in and goes in for the pin. And you can see it plain as day on TV. Like a trooper, he just like pushed it in and they kept going. And then, of course, you have, you know, Joey Ryan. But you won't see Joey Ryan anymore. Nice shot. Yes, we are under three minutes. When are they going to bring Enzo back? I don't know, because Enzo was cleared of all charges and he won his long or lawsuit for being wrongfully discharged after he was accused and then found innocent. So I don't know when they're going to bring him back. I know Big Cass is not coming back because Big Cass had a mini stroke and I do not believe he is cleared to wrestle. Under two minutes. Big Cass is wrestling? I didn't realize that. Because I know he had that stint in ROH. And that makes sense because AEW bought ROH. So I guess I did know that. I just wasn't thinking. Houston, we lost you. Houston. Paul, have you watched the time I was reincarnated as a slime? It is an amazing fantasy anime series. I have watched it, Hollywood. I watched the first season ben wants a long ball. time ago when it was a fan sub. We are under one minute. I am trying to drain this ball. And Ben wants Bob's Burgers. Amazing. Come on, I need the ball save to go away. 30 seconds left. I guess we're just going to have to drain it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! Houston, we lost you. Houston! Like 15 seconds. I don't think I'm going to make it. Wow, my timer was pretty spot on today. Tournament is over. And I made it. Let's see who won. Tournament completed. Joe Picasso. Although I think that is actually Andy. Joe will have to tell me if I'm wrong. But it is the Andy Joe Picasso com combo. One of you is in first place with an impressive 86 million. He beat me. <laughs> 
Well, Andy, you get to pick the table that we play first next week. So please let us know in chat or have Joe let us know. Or Joe, you just tell me a table you want to play and you can deal with an angry Andy later. But Andy won. Black Rose. I knew the Black Rose was coming. You guys have been duking it out on Black Rose for like a week now. Let me make a note. It's an excellent table. So we will be playing... What the? Well, that's funny. I had a spam email that looked legitimate for a minute. All right. Uh, so Black Rose will be our first table next week. Yes. Don't forget, we got, uh, we're going to do the raffle next. So I will give you to the end of the video to enter the raffle. We're giving away a copy of Caverns of Mars Recharged. Exclamation point raffle to enter. Must be a follower to receive a ticket. You have till the end of the video to enter. I was muted. Mr. Pendragon, you have just won a copy <clears throat> of Caverns of Mars. Congratulations to you, Mr. Pendragon. I will be sending you your Steam key at the conclusion of tonight's stream. All right, for the next raffle, I leave it up to uh, you guys. We can do Gotham Knight or uh, Upside Down Galaga is mine. <laughs> We can do Gotham Knights or we can do Berserk Recharge. Those are your choices for the next raffle. Uh, one for Gotham Knights, two for Berserk. Put it in chat right now. And if we get one extra life donation, then we will do all three. As I double check to make sure that we haven't received one and I just haven't been notified. If we get... We are so close to our charity goal for Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. I, the number's really tiny, but I think we're like $75 from goal. And with one donation of any size, uh, we will do three raffles. All right, so a whole bunch of people want me to throw in Gotham Knights. So I think that's what we're going to do. You psyched me out. Meant to vote for two. Yes, because I said them out of order. If you change your vote to two, Arthur, then we are tied. 50 oh, nope, because we got... If you change your vote to two, then we're doing Berserk Recharge because Sonic typed Berserk. All right, we are doing Berserk Recharge for our second raffle. For those of you that want Gotham Knights... We just need one extra life donation to unlock that raffle. 
Otherwise, it'll make it back into its rotation eventually. I'm gonna take a couple minute break. I'm gonna set up the uh, Indiana Jones pinball adventure. After, I'm 99% sure Gotham Knights is almost shut down already, no? I, I hope not, because it was on sale, which is why I picked it up for the raffle. Pinball Gramps, hello. Pirate, thank you so much for the tier one. Pirate, uh, I was about to go to break, but so many people have asked if you're still alive. So thank you for coming in and dropping the tier one and confirming that the ice cream and uh, sausage combo did not kill you as many people were concerned about. You're not quite dead. So everybody wants to know, are we playing the thing in Camp Bloodbrook tomorrow still? Are you gonna be healthy enough for that? Have you been training? because we are all psyched to come play with you tomorrow night. That is the wrong button. It was supposed to shout out pirate, not post the donation link again. Tartar sauce, no! no! I like tartar sauce, but I would not like tartar sauce on ice cream. You are braver than I. Bloodbrook is a clone of Friday the 13th. I mean, Theme wise, yes, the table is not. Jacob instead of Jason, it's like, yeah, but it's a fun table, Joe. I'm excited to play it. I was trying to play more Slayaway Camp, but my brain can't take it, yes. So that brings the other thing that I was gonna talk about. Maybe I should save that for after break. Uh, Cause I want to give away copies of Slayaway Camp too but I was not able to secure Steam keys to give those away, but I wanna support that game and we'll talk about that more. But I gotta take my break now because I need to go potty and we need to set up this table. So we will be right back. I did not mean to pick the R-rated trailer. I am so sorry.
Have a good night, Gramps. I didn't realize that the FX music was playing in the background. My apologies. I find it interesting the number of recharge titles do the twin stick shooter thing. I have Yars recharged. I have Yars recharged too. I'm actually really enjoying the recharge series of games, especially Centipede. I think Centipede might be my favorite. All right, let's play some Indiana Jones. Let me get the timer started. Checking the settings. 60 minutes on the clock tournament is live. So many keyboards everywhere. I got to make sure I'm on the right box. And remember, for just one extra life donation, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, we can unlock one additional raffle tonight. Dirty Mary has that up close and personal meeting with a train, right? <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember. But I can tell you the whole time that I was going through my 35 millimeter Tra trailer connect collection and i was just dropping random trailers in the folder for it to play and the only thing i could think of is joe's gonna message me joe picasso he's gonna message me later and go you watch some weird shit i i can hear him saying the words and i anticipate that message later today yes <laughs> yep there it is I did introduce Joe to Grizzly, though, and I'm very proud of that. Joe had never seen Grizzly. Or Grizzly 2. He does. I can vouch. <laughs> 100%. I watch a lot of weird shit. And along those lines with the Charlie Varick movie, has Walter Matthau ever looked young? Like, even when he was in The Odd Couple, he, he looked old. Like, did was he ever young? I did watch North of 60 because I wanted more Canadian cop shows in my life, really baked. Oh, 
I'm still trying to finish Rookie Blue. I think we're on season four. So we're running out of that. He was like Merlin, aging in reverse. Did I just go straight to the Well of Souls? Oh, we went like game on, zero to 100. And we're already down to two balls. Have you watched Due South? Of course I've watched Due South. I'm not an amateur. To which I say, if you're going to throw that one at me, have you watched The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr.? One moment, I have an elephant coming at me. I have news for you really big. Most Canadian TV uh, does air in the States. Although I, I have to say, if we're talking strictly Canadian shows, my favorite Canadian show is probably Regenesis. Maybe where I am, but this is true. <laughs> Mine is South Park. Holy smoke, my friend, I have so many to love Yes, The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. is the Bruce Campbell Cowboy Show that lasted one season. And I still have not uh, forgiven the network for canceling it. And as much as I love Briscoe County Jr., I go back and forth because I love Briscoe County Jr., but I also love um, ah, Jack of All Trades. So Jack of All Trades was a it was a like a one run or one season run uh, show where Bruce Campbell was a whoops was effectively Zorro, but in a uh, French colony. Bubba Hotep is fun, but Jack of all trades, uh, Bruce Campbell was effectively, he was the daring dragoon, which was like the French Zorro and Vern Troyer played Napoleon, uh, in a reoccurring role. And if you can find that streaming anywhere, highly recommend it. it was canceled too soon. I can't think of her name. I'm trying to think of it, Mr. Pendragon. I know she's Australian or New Zealand. And I think that's the only thing I've seen her in. That was a relatively quick game, saved by the fact that I got a lucky Well of Souls as my first mode. Tournament results.
She was in Hercules and Young Hercules. Okay, that doesn't surprise me because that was the same production company. You're meddling with powers you cannot possibly comprehend. It was Renaissance Pictures, which is Sam Raimi's company, and they filmed all of their shows for syndication in New Zealand. They also did Cleopatra 2525. Angela Marie Dotchkin. Take that since the first ball went terribly. Choose. Choose wisely. I've already lost it. Whenever I lose it, I always uh, I always go far left. You have chosen wise. Back then I wanted to move to New Zealand, especially after I found out they had no income tax. Will they let people in, though? I find that places like that generally have strong immigration rules. sure Vermont has no state income tax I think you know you still got federal but I'm pretty sure they have no state So back to Canadian TV and Regenesis. If you are unfamiliar with that show, which I suspect a heavy amount of you are, it is a show about a team of medical investigators that basically, and this was in like the early 2000s, they would show up on like the scene of like various like random disease like Ebola outbreak uh, pandemic type stuff and this was in the early 2000s so they were like the emergency response team and there was always some sort of like crazy like terrorist plot that was about to happen um, like Spanish flu getting stolen from a lab Ebola and it had like the like drama and action level of like 24 and I was addicted to it for a very long time. Eight bit horror stream tomorrow during the day, FYI. What are you going to be playing? Is the, do you have the, uh, the retro realms games, the uh, Halloween and evil dead games? What are we playing? Five Nights at Freddy's, Into the Pit, and more. Is five, that's, that's not 8-bit, is it? I guess I don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's, Into the Pit is. Eighty percent success rate on permanent residency. Best way to get a visa to, or visa to New Zealand is to have a baby there. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say, Really Baked, I don't think that applies to those of us looking to go.
really baked, would you mind shouting out Game Club Central for that 8-bit uh, retro stream? I wanted to hit the button and I am in multi-ball mode. But yes, I also have the Retro Realms Arcade on tap. Alright, you've convinced me I'm there. Although, nope, I will still be there. Sadly, I will be at the hospital most of the day tomorrow, but I should be able to watch streams. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. It's routine, but it will take all day. I guess it's more 16-bit, but you get the idea. Fair. Maybe some splatter house? Man, there's so many things you could do with this. I love this idea, Game Club. I'm looking forward to it. I hope that I learn new games. I usually do when you stream games. Zombies ate my neighbors. Another excellent option. Uh, yes, Mr. Pendragon. Made it to the prison cake level in Slate Away Camp 2 and I had to stop. Alright, so thank you for bringing that up because I forgot about Slay Away Camp 2. We need, um, I wonder if we can convince Game Club Central to get that in the rotation if it is not already. Because I would be happy to send a gift copy his way. Imagination. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the game Slay Away Camp from Blue Wizard Digital, uh, Slay Away Camp 2 uh, is now on Steam. It had been on mobile platforms and uh, Netflix games exclusive for about a year, maybe two years. And now it has opened up and it went on sale on Steam today. And I highly recommend it. It is a, uh, I don't know, it is a horror-themed puzzle game. It was a net it was a Netflix exclusive for at least a year. I'm sure they got a truckload of money for that too. I hope so. I mean, I the only thing that I wish I played it on Netflix because I really wanted to support the game and them and I very much enjoyed it. Uh, but now that I have it on Steam, for one, I'm going to feel silly when I can't figure out puzzles I've already done before. And two, the ones that I have done before, I'm going to be like, I've already played this, but uh, Blue Wizard Digital is awesome. It's a great game and I wanted to support them. They were the makers of the Friday the 13th killer puzzle many years ago too, and Slay Away Camp is the kind of like an unofficial sequel to that. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't reading chat, and you covered that. Yes, Friday the 13th killer puzzle has been delisted on Steam and Android, but if you purchased it, you can still play it but there are no more daily puzzles. Man, I am trying really hard to use that extra ball. I wish I'd had a tra I, I completely forgot. I wish I had a trailer ready to go to show you guys uh, Slayway Camp 2. 
And as soon as I'm able to source keys for it, we will be giving away some copies. But, um... Sadly, I was not able to do so for tonight. Don't touch anything. We'll see what happens in a few days but right now steam gift is the only way to do it yeah and that's an, that's i'm not opposed to doing it as a steam gift but i hate doing raffles where it's a steam gift for one i always have problems uh with some people internationally depending on the country and it's not fair to them if i have to be like sorry you won but i can't give you this game and then two we have to be friends on steam for three days before i can send you your prize and that requires a lot of extra work. So I prefer to, when I give away things, that here's your key, here's your download, this is how you activate it, and then you're good to go. See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones. Yeah, in order to friend someone, that person has to have a Steam account. They have to have spent $5 on Steam. We have to be friends, and we have to be friends for three days before I can send you a gifted game. And I get why they're doing that, because so many people were hijacking accounts and then stealing their inventory. And they're doing it for good reasons to support developers. But for people like me that do raffles and giveaways, it's a lot of extra steps. That was a much better game than I thought I was having. That ball's going somewhere good. I'm sure I can get a few, but I'm not going to bother them on launch day. This is true. I wasn't sure if you wanted to disco disclose that you had a little bit of a relationship there, Baked. But if it's kosher. You must choose. But choose wisely. I hope. You have chosen wise. always try and pull strings where I can. I've been friends for 20 years. Well, when you talk to your friends, let them know that I would be willing to pay the full retail price if I could get it in Steam Key form so that we could give it away to help promote their game. I'm not looking for a handout. I just want a copy I can give away. Bye bye ball.
streets of Cairo. I'll take 20 million. So before I got uber distracted on Slayaway Camp, don't forget to give Game Club Central a follow. Game Club Central will be live tomorrow. Uh-oh. That's a clip. They say let's get into bed. Josh and Gordon. They, they mean... They have a pillow. That was a clip from Saturday night when we were watching Fright Night and my kids were way too invested into the movie. Although, I have to be careful because I think my wife is still watching this stream. She doesn't know that I let them stay up till midnight so they could watch Fright Night while she was playing in a pinball tournament. She does now. <laughs> And they really want to know when we're going to watch Fright Night 2 Game Club Central. I don't know. Saturday was a pretty great day. We uh, played at the X-Men launch party. Um, both my wife and I qualified for finals, but I left early to take the kids to a trunk or treat where we got a bunch of candy and they were doing pumpkin chucking. So we got to launch small gourds at a giant hay bale cardboard target. And it was pretty awesome. And then we came home and we watched Young Frankenstein and Fright Night. And thanks to Game Club Central, my kids are now Mel Brooks fans for life. And I didn't have to be the one to introduce them for introduce or, you know, try and force them to watch it or introduce them to it. Because then they'll be like, this is lame, Dad, but Uncle Marty does it, and they're like, oh, this movie's gonna be bad. And they're all about it. High Anxiety. We should watch High Anxiety. Uncle Marty. <laughs> Next we do Orgasmatron with Woody. Yeah, I might send them to bed early for that one. Cairo. History of the World Part 1. Yes, he meant Orgasmo, but I was... I was going with it because it sounded better. Yep. It very well could be a different movie, but I assume that's what he meant. Apparently not. <laughs> then maybe we'll have to move over to Pinball Macabre and watch Forest Hump. No! 
I'm also pleased that I'm not dead. Willie! New plan. I'm not even aiming. I'm just trying to keep balls alive for as long as possible. When we get down to like two, then we'll start trying to make shots. They'll be the wrong shots, but we'll start making them purposely. There's another ball. Oh, there's the elephant. I was like, there's another ball out here somewhere. I can feel it. No! Damn it. Can we get a jackpot on the way out the door? And that is how you screw up Well of Souls. Oh man, I drained and I had the monkey brains in full rich color for you. I was trying to pass to the left flipper so we could shoot the path of adventure and that just went horribly wrong. I know you're not going to believe me, but I swear I hit the right flipper. And it's working. They should make a female-led version of this movie and call it Cindyana Jones. I don't know. I think I'd rather have another national treasure. That reminds me. Anybody watch the new Tomb Raider cartoon? Is it any good? Alright, 
We got the path and castle. And woo! Bye bye, ball. Nothing can top Terminator Zero. Well, Terminator Zero was like anime style. Isn't the new Tomb Raider a CGI US show? I did like Terminator. More than I thought I was going to. things lit what can we hit nothing well done, my I think so I'm not positive really baked <laughs> Western anime What do you classify reboot as? Canadian anime? Tournament results. You know what? I was going to check scores and I totally forgot. My apologies. <laughs> Don't forget, we got that raffle going for Berserk Recharge, and there's only 24 minutes left, so if we want that third raffle... Well, no, Reboot is CGI. The show is more animated than CGI. In the trailer, it looked pretty CGI to me. But did you know that Reboot is Canadian? surprises me mr pendragon but she's also playing in bed it was the most mind-blowing shit of all time yes reboot and then uh the the voltron in the third dimension those were the first two like weekly cgi animated tv shows i can recall there were shows that had CGI segments in them, but those are the first two I can recall that were like completely CGI. Reboot was good, but it got weird when they started changing characters. I love Beast Machines and uh, Beast Wars and um, Starship Troopers Roughneck Chronicles. But that was a little bit later, if I remember right. That was like 97. I didn't know Roughnecks was Canadian. Beast War or Beast Machines doesn't surprise me. Right now. Who? Top men. Top men. See you tomorrow. Jones. All right, there's 20 minutes remaining. I'm still gonna check scores. Tournament results. Cause I have the curiosities. All right, Joe Soap currently in first with 944 million. Origin in second with 737. Andy in third with 481. Uh, myself in fourth with 468. Sir Random fifth place 447 million. Game Club Central, 6th place with 251. Joe Picasso, 7th place, 183 million. 8th place, The Wife, 94 million. 
get the scrolly scroll. And Mr. Pendragon, ninth place with 57 million. If Reboot had been made in Germany. This is how we say goodbye in German. It would be called Rebootentag. I think that is actually part of why his name is Rebootentag. In fact, I know it is because his logo is the Reboot logo. I talked to him today. He's doing well. But his new job just doesn't accommodate his previous streaming schedule. The world famous Rabutin Tog. Oh good, at least it's get the idol and I thought for sure I was gonna get a well well of souls again as a first mode and just be like what the hell? So when we we're at uh, Pinball Expo, there's a guy named Ivan who has a, uh, his own business called Pinball Italy and he does custom pinball cabinets and he had a gold plated Indiana Jones, the pinball adventure. And it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, this pinball table he has. So next to the, uh, uh, next to the scared stiff that I shared all the pictures of it, right next to that was a gold-plated Indiana Jones to the pinball adventure. This is how you know that my hand is toast for the night. I can't feel it, and I don't think I'm going to get another score above 20 million. I might take a butt drugs break in a moment. I can't really hurt it any more than uh, it's already hurt shell schlock. It's just right there's a point at which it's no longer comfortable for me to play. And these longer playing games like we've had tonight, I don't get as many breaks where I get to talk with my hands and stretch them out. And uh, my hand goes numb. Dr. Doobie. How goes it? Oops, that's not the button I was looking for. I haven't actually uh, got it to work right in Scorbit yet, but... There's a first time for everything. There is a first time for everything.
have to do more pirate ice cream clips. Although I think he was muted. Nope. That's right, he was using the wasabi to block the scent of the Vienna sausage. I think that stream generated more clips than any Twitch stream I have ever seen. Yeah, most beach flavor candy they can't eat. shouted me out thank you doubleman ben and everybody thank you doubleman ben for these atari recharged games that we're giving away tonight they were donated by doubleman ben to help support our charity stream tonight and he hates it when i bring attention to him so everybody, please say thank you to Doubleman Ben. Because it makes him uncomfortable. Ben wants Bob's Burgers pinball. This is true. The best way we can say thank you to Doubleman Ben is whoever wins this table, if they pick Bob Bur Bob's Burgers for next week's table, they would make Doubleman Ben's night. Yes, Paladin is a dick. 100%. I have never denied this. That's not the path of adventure. As, my, as I get a text message that I'm sure is Doubleman Ben telling me to stop talking about me on stream. That's not true. Now I'm putting words in his mouth, but it probably is him texting. Here the elephant. It wasn't me this time. Sure. Just knock something over. As I wondered, did I put dinner away? Shit. My cats might be eating my tacos. I mean, I can make it me, but it wasn't. Uh huh. kitchen double moon Ben. I made them. And they were not fancy tacos. But they were good. Where's my father? We were thinking we need yesterdogs sometime. Well 
that would be kind of tempting to do tomorrow, but I don't know if Josh will want to do that after his procedure. But yes, you know what? We should do a Yesterdog live stream sometime. You can be the cameraman and you can use a voice chain. Or we can just go have hot dogs. I'm afraid of this clip. remaining ladies and gentlemen that is our 10 minute warning to get a talk box bring a keyboard to your ordinary cats eating tacos ah. see you tomorrow indiana jones i will copy this tournament results Review later. I do not recall what I said about cats eating tacos. That's going to be so great randomly out of context when you get shout outs. There's eight minutes remaining, guys, but I need a break. I'm sorry. Uh, my hand is killing me. So. We're going to watch the trailer for our raffle. Don't forget to enter and maybe play one more game. Destroy the intruder. Exclamation point raffle. All right, so the text message I received was actually from Really Baked, and it is. So these are the trigger warnings from Slay Away Camp 2 under the settings. Uh, so options you can enable. Um, so. This is a small fraction of the list. Thank you, Really Baked. So we have, uh, as far as options, we can toggle on and off in Slay Away Camp 2. We have Disrespect of Corpses, Violent Decompression, Exceedingly Excessive Blood, and Accurate Depiction of Biology, Heavy Reference to Canada, Unsafe Professional Practices, Inaccurate Portrayal of Hockey, Reference to human resources, misappropriation of office supplies, and badly researched religious imagery. I will toggle all of those on. And I will need to review the rest of the list. We have six minutes remaining in this tournament. So what's everybody's favorite Indiana Jones movies? 
You have four to choose from, and I will count the young Indiana Jones TV movies. And, uh, go. What is your... Really Big says Temple of Doom only. Why Temple of Doom? Not disrespecting your choice, but what about Temple of Doom makes that your go-to Indiana Jones movie? The one with the snakes. Good call, the wife. When you say the one with the snakes, do you mean Crystal Skull when they uh, use the snake vines or just any of them because they all have snakes? My favorite Indiana Jones movie is Bob's Burgers. <laughs> five movies, not four. You're right. There are four. Or there are five. I forgot. I don't know why I forgot because we have Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, uh, Last Crusade, Crystal Skull, and the Dial of Destiny. Mr. J. Crane, thank you. You've redeemed a ticket. We have five minutes remaining. We have nine players. You st you're really baked. You got time for one game. I promise you can do it. You've been to Petra. Last one was horrible. Dial of Destiny was horrible? I didn't mind Dial of Destiny. Crystal Skull was okay. I'm in that camp too, Joe. I don't understand all the hate on the Crystal Skull. I, I, I don't mind it. I don't, it's not my favorite. My favorite is The Last Crusade, but I really like Sean Connery. Last Crusade is the one Joe watched the most. Still can't get past the bad CGI prologue and dial. Which one had an Atari 2600 game? Lost Ark? I thought the 2600 game was like Indiana Jones and Atlantis or something. I thought it was like not a movie property. Shia LaBeouf. We have some Shia LaBeouf uh, fans. Three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. I bet that Game Club Central is trying to fi finish his best game ever. So everybody, let's ask Game Club Central. What is your favorite Indiana Jones movie, Game Club? And, 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 but still, please keep shooting the path of adventure. Raiders was on 2609. Okay. Yes, I knew you meant 2600, but I like 2609. Don't touch anything. I think I gave my 2600. I either gave it to Doubleman Ben or Fitzy. One of those two has my old 2600. I kept the Atari Falcon. Though. Raiders of the Lost Ark 2600 1981 2. I did not realize this. I think it was me. I have like two or three 2600s and a 7800. I think I gave Ben my uh, Vic 20 as well, but the it needed to be recapped. It wouldn't power on anymore. Where's my father? And the only thing I miss about the the Vic 20 is the keyboard itself. And yes, I realize the whole unit is a keyboard, but man, was that a great, great keyboard. That thud was not a cat. That was my wife. And she's okay. Vic 20 was my first computer. It was mine too, really baked. Double and Ben, your mother is a hamster. And wait, no. Yes. And his father smelt of elderberries? One minute, 21 seconds remaining.
My first was an Apple II C. I never owned an Apple, honestly. At least not of that generation. Never owned an Amiga either. I think if Paladin gave me a VIC-20 and a Commodore 64 there after the fire company that was supposed to take care of them broke keys off, they were forced to buy me a new one of each. So now I have three Commodore 64s and two VIC-20s. Are you willing to share a VIC-20? I'm not calling you old. Mr. J, I'm just saying that I never had an Apple, I never owned an Apple computer of that generation. There's like 15 seconds left. I should have drained about a minute earlier. <laughs> Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! That was close. Good thing I didn't get a good score. <laughs> but you got a score to give us an even 10, which is awesome. Tournament results. See, even 10 players. All is right in the universe. We have an even number. That's all I wanted. And our winner is Joe Soap with 944 million. Sir Random, second place, 848 million. Origins in third. 737 million. Joe Picasso, fourth place, 546 million. Fifth place, Andy with 481. I bet Joe is doing the uh, suck it dance right now. I can see it. They're dancing around the apartment. Sixth place, myself with 468 million. Seventh place, Game Club Central with 251. Eighth place, Mr. Pendragon with 103 million justices. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I, I know this scene. The Wife, ninth place, 94 million. And Really Baked, who's really awesome. And I never get to say that anymore. 10th place, 48 million. Joe Soap, if, they're, if you're out there, please let us know a table you would like us to play next week. An amazing score. You were robbed from the power bottom? I'm just impressed he got a score in so quickly. Funhouse? We could play Funhouse. All right, so next week. Pull out my handy dandy notebook. And next week we'll be playing Black Rose and Funhouse on Pinball FX3. Thank you, Mr. J, for the clap. We still have a raffle to do, so uh, this is your last chance to enter for a copy of Berserk Recharged. Double Mid Ben suffers another another week. Burgerless. I'm so sorry, Double Mid Ben. Uh, I will give you guys till the end of the game trailer to enter the raffle. Exclamation point raffle for a ticket must be a follower to win. Uh, Double Moon Ben, there were no donations this evening. The last donation was on October 7th.
Uh, no, Mr. Pendragon, this is the second raffle. I wanted to do three, but we didn't receive any donations. Lynn in Denver, you are the proud winner of Berserk Recharged. Woo! I will be sending you your Steam key uh, shortly. Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you stream it. Oh, Tin Can Dan, I love Robotron. I, is there a Robotron re Recharge? I mean, that's a Williams game, not an Atari game, but I would love if they, they give this treatment to Robotron. That would be pretty awesome. Hello, RB Wings. No, Lynn, I'm Back not... Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the Turtles. zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're great zombie. And good times here at the Waterfront Village. Open for the next 11 days. And no, Lynn, I'm not saying you should stop streaming pinball. I just think it would be cool if you streamed Berserk. Or maybe System Reactor could stream Berserk. Let's pull up the Uncle Tony camp and see if the Living Arcade is alive tonight or going live. Do a quick check in with uh, Special and let's see if anybody has posted a new Adams Family score. I do not see Uncle Tony yet. So what we'll do is I'll play one Adams Family. Oh, I missed some, I'd be down for that, Marty. What? I'm gonna stream all the recharged. Ooh, the recharged do seem to rock. I agree. Um, I'll play one Adams Family and if Uncle Tony doesn't go live, then we will find somebody to raid. I see Angry Old Man Gaming, I see Joe Hills, 90s Craig, lots of options, but let's, uh, oops, let's play some Adam's Family. It's part of our special one lit. That is really loud. I don't know if it's really loud in the mix, but it was really loud in my head. So let me turn this down a little bit. It didn't have a daycare center, so the local kids played on the street. Don't even think about it. <laughs> See, you thought about it. In your head, the zombies by the cranberries? Oh. Not quite. Now I made it too quiet. You were so beautiful, pale and mysterious. He thought about it. I did have to think about it. I'm hitting my launch ball button like an idiot because I'm used to playing FX at this point. Sorry, guys. I am tired. <laughs> I like it. But I had fun tonight. I hope you all had a great time. I appreciate everybody coming out in support of the stream and Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. multi-ball is lit but nope we're gonna get a almost bear kick and not to the ramp so that we can get the oh we are gonna get the quick multi-ball
We have the power. The power to eat multi-balls and disrupt shots. I'm eating a family-sized bag of Chicago mixed popcorn for second dinner. This is going to end poorly, and I don't care. Man, I haven't had popcorn in so long. With uh, Josh's stomach problems, that's w one of the foods on the ban list, so we just don't keep it in the house anymore so that we don't tempt him. Because popcorn used to be his favorite snack. And uh, I miss it. Especially when we were we walked past Garrett's when we were in Chicago for Pinball Expo, and I so badly wanted to bring home a tin. I was like, nope, this will end badly. No Uncle Tony. That was a short game. I'll give it one more game. If we don't see Uncle Tony, then I think we'll go visit Angry Old Man Gaming. There's a reason I only eat popcorn from the or from the movie style machine I have. Plus, it's just plain better fresh. You're not wrong. It is plain better fresh. But when you're at Garrett's Popcorn and you can get it fresh. That's the best. I'm a fan of the dirty carcinogen bagged microwave popcorn if I have to do it at home. We have an air popper, but it's been a while. Garrett's Buffalo Ranch flavored popcorn. Yes. Have a nice swim. How am I already on ball three? And now we're done. Can I get a pity 10 million, please? Just a little, just, nope. Not even a pity 10 million. Well, if you like Adam's family, and there's a lot to like and a lot to hate on this table, think about joining our VPX competition. You could follow the link in chat for more information on how to play, how to post a score. And you can take on the likes of Higher Peanut and... Who's... Oh, Thin Man has surpassed Higher Peanut. That deserves a clap. You know what? That deserves a handshake. Nicely Dylan. done, Thin Man. You son of a bitch. All right, still no Uncle Tony, so I think we're going to go visit Angry Old Man Gaming. I hope you had fun tonight. I hope to see everybody at Pirates tomorrow for uh, The Thing and Camp Bloodbrook. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Wednesday night at Game Club Central for the uh, Pinball FX3 Drain Freeze Tournament. Oh, don't forget, Game Club Central will be doing a 16-bit horror-inspired uh, stream uh, tomorrow. Please follow Game Club Central and Pirate. We might need it again. A decent amount on the bite of ice cream. Here's a bite of ice cream. We're going to go with. Okay. Mm. When we first met years ago, it was an awesome. evening much like this. Magic in the air. Boy. All right, everybody. I will catch you next week. You were so. Have a good evening.
as I look for the end credits button. There it is. Bye-bye.